My name is Ken Delmar. I'm an artist, and I paint on paper towels. I'm 72, which is one of the reasons I paint a lot, because the runway has shortened for me to get all the things done that I want to get done. My dad grew up on stage and radio, and he was Kenny Delmar. So he was really on the top of the world in 1950. Every guy wants to outdo his dad. Well, I have these really big shoes to jump into, to do something that spectacular. This all started with my local paper, which spun out of two ladies who kind of go to one neighborhood to the next at random. And they were knocking on my door, and I opened the door, and one woman looked, and she said, we're from the Stanford Advocate. Are you interesting? At that point, she looked through, and beyond the foyer were all these paintings. And she said, so you use Bounty? And I said, yeah, I tried them all, and this is the one I like the best. It holds the paint better, and it's tougher, and it absorbs everything quicker. And so she put that right at the lead of the article. And the next thing I knew, the uh, Bounty people, they were contacting me to see if they could participate and help me get further along in my career. Like many, many things in art, how painting on paper towels came about was accidental. I was turning off the lights up here and leaving the studio, and I looked at some of the paper towels that I used to clean my knives or brushes, and the colors were just jumping out at me. What was going on is the two-ply of the paper towel was grabbing the paint right off my brush. I thought, there's something going on here. In a sense, the whole thing started randomly, but once it started snowballing, it just snowballed in a very nice fashion. Going into a Chelsea show, it doesn't matter if I sell anything. Just to be there is huge. I'm still in shock, and like anything else where something like this happens, you try to savor the moments. Looking back, my dad really had no idea what he did. And all I can say is that when I forgot about trying to succeed as an artist, and when I just started painting on what I wanted to paint on, just for fun, suddenly new and different things started happening. 